Hey, so guess what? It's finally spring break and I'm so excited because I finally have leisure time now and I'm not drowning in homework. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to be doing the tutorial today on how I curl my hair. And I curl my hair with a straightener. I know a lot of people have videos up of them curling their hair with their straightener and whatnot, but I've seen a lot of them part their hair and do all this hassle work when I just kind of grab and go. And this video was requested by my friends Tan and John because they were curious on how I do my hair and I've told people how I've done my hair super quick in the morning. It's taken me the shortest amount of time, probably six minutes to do it and the longest about 10 minutes and I'm kind of feeling a bit lazy in the morning. It's really quick hairdo and you know, it looks nice at the same time. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so I'm taking my Bliss Pro, and I'm going to set the degrees to 375, and wait for it to heat up. But I'm going to use my Chi Soul Confusion, <laughs> dropped it, and I'm pour about a dime size to the palm of my hands, rub it a bit, and run it along the ends of my hair so it doesn't dry out. That's the most damaged part of your hair. Okay, after you applied your chi cell confusion, I'm going to take my hair straightener. And what I usually do is I just part my hair in half right here. And I take about this end and the top piece of my hair, about say like two inches. And what I'm going to do is take my hair straightener, place it near the scalp and just turn it and clamp it really tight and just pull till it makes a curl and I'm going to do the same thing for the top part of my top section of my hair so I'm going to take this clamp it near my scalp take it and twist it and pull. And the tighter you pull it, the tighter the curls are going to be. And I just start picking sections. I don't really section it off. Pull again. And I just kind of feel around to see if there's any strands. And since there's some on this part, instead of doing it close to my scalp, I'm just going to take it about, let's say, two inches down, take it, clamp it, and curl it. Because I don't want to make my hair look shorter. So the farther you curl your hair, the less short it will look. And I know for some people it's really hard to get the back side and what I usually do is I just kind of pick at it and I draw it to the side to where I can see it. I take my hair straightener again, I clamp it near my scalp, take it, clamp it, hold it tight, twist it, and pull it. And I do the same for the rest of it. Just kind of feel around. Okay, so I curled my bangs, and if you don't want to, you can skip this part, but I did. And because it gets kind of really curly, you're going to have to restyle it and kind of put some... I just put iron guard on it because it holds it down. And restyle it to where 
it looks better and doesn't look like a big poodle on top of her forehead. And that's about it. Okay, so that was a tutorial and I hope you found it useful. And some tips to remember are you want to take your hair to the side, about two inches wide, take it, clamp it, twist it, and pull it. And the closer you pull to your scalp, the shorter the curls will be. And the tighter you pull it, the tighter the curls will be. So if you don't want your curls, you know, like super tight, don't pull it as hard. And if you don't want your curls, you know, super short, you know, start about two inches from your scalp or whatever your preference is. And as for the back of your head, if you don't have a mirror and you can't see what's going on back there, just remember, just kind of feel around, take a strand to the side, and um, clamp it, twist it, and pull. And just keep doing that method around your head. Just kind of start feeling for, you know, straight pieces or straight strands, and just kind of pick at it and curl it. And if you want to make sure that you got all the strands, you know, take a mirror, and look behind and see if you got all of it or ask a friend to make sure that all of your hair is curled and there's no random straight pieces out and yeah that's about it i hope you found this tutorial useful and i'll see you later bye